The airplanes, nicknamed Gigant or Giant in German, were enormous transport planes. The Messami 321 as a glider and the 323 based on the previous one but powered with six engines. They were intended to carry troops in possible invasions of England or the Soviet Union. And today we are going to look at this curious aircraft in a new video from the Aeropedia of Mundo de Aviación. During World War II, the German army considered a possible invasion of the British Isles in an operation that was called Operation Sea Lion. When preparations began, the Luftwaffe Transport Command realized that, continue, both the distance to be covered and the amount of cargo to be transported required a transport aircraft with better performance than the model that had been used until then, the famous Hunker Hu. 52. In December 1940, the plans for Operation Sea Lion were shelved and plans for an invasion of the Soviet Union began. With Operation Barbarossa, it was decided that the most effective and cheapest solution to meet air transport needs was to be able to use gliders. The light glider DFS-230 had already proven its usefulness in the Battle of Fort Ebenemael in Belgium, the first assault by troops transported in gliders, and then it would be used successfully in the invasion of Crete in 1941. The technical office of the Luftwaffe commissioned the aircraft manufacturers Hunkers and Messermeek, a proposal for the rapid development of a glider with a large cargo capacity. On October 18, 1940, these two manufacturers were given just 14 days to submit a proposal for a large glider. The specification stated that the glider had to be capable of carrying an 88mm cannon along with its towing vehicle or a medium tank. Panzer III or Panzer IV? Hunker's design, the HU-322 Mammoth, was discarded because it was built entirely out of wood, so the winner turned out to be Messermeek. This one had a structure made of steel tubes with wooden slats that allowed for quick construction and easy repairs, as well as considerable weight savings. The prototype of the ME-321 had a cargo hold 11 meters long, 3.3 meters high and 3.15 meters wide. This allowed it to carry 20,000 kilograms of cargo, almost twice its empty weight, or an estimated total of 200 men. For the flight test, a jettisonable wheeled landing gear was used so that the plane landed later using deployable skids. A Junkers Ju-90 was used as a tug for the first flight, which took place on February 25, 1941, in which the Mi-321 demonstrated satisfactory flying qualities. However, it was noted that a more efficient tow plane was needed to address the problems encountered during the testing period. To assist with takeoff, eight rockets with 500 kilograms of thrust could be used for about 30 seconds. Once completed, the 100 production units of the ME-3221A, one which was only piloted by a single pilot. Mesomich then received a contract for another 321B, one which differed in its larger cockpit, now having both a pilot and a co-pilot. In 1942, right when the Heinkel G1 became available for towing, one, one. But many problems during takeoff with these units led to considering the option of a motorized version. Although the Mi-321 took part in operations in Russia, it was not used for the assault project on Malta or for other airborne assaults. When the decision was made to motorize the Messermich 321, it was first tested with four French NOM GR-14 engines, which gave the first prototype a modest speed of 210 km per hour. A fixed landing gear was installed, consisting of four small wheels at the front and six large ones on each side. In two rows of three, partially covered by an aerodynamic fairing, the rear wheels were equipped with pneumatic brakes, capable of stopping the plane in just 200 meters. 
Even though it was motorized, it required being towed at full load by a Heinkel He-111 or by the dangerous maneuver of a formation of three heavy Messerschmitt Bf 110s. But it could return to its base on its own once empty, which the glider could not do. Then, the B-2 version was created and it became the first land-based transport aircraft with six engines. And it flew for the first time at the beginning of 1942. The D-series had a crew of five people, two pilots, two flight engineers and a radio operator. Additionally, it could carry two gunners. The two flight engineers occupied two small cabins, one in each wing, located between the inner engines and the center of the aircraft. The engineers' stations were designed so they could monitor and synchronize the engines. Compared to the 321, the Messemich 323 had a much smaller payload, between 10 and 12 tons. That was the price to pay for the plane to be able to operate autonomously. Its nose, 6 meters high, was made up of two large, vertically folding doors. These doors could only be opened from the inside, where ramps could be deployed to allow vehicles to enter or exit like the ME321-323. the 323. It had large cantilever wings, which were supported by the fuselage to reduce weight and save aluminum. Much of the wings were made of plywood and fabric, while the fuselage was built with metal tubes with wooden stringers covered by varnished fabric with a floor suitable for support. Payload. The cargo space measured 36 feet long, 3.28 yards wide and 11 feet 1 inch high. Its typical load was two 4-ton trucks or a 15mm cannon with a craft fartzog, 7.5 track artillery tractor or an 88mm cannon with its equipment and ammunition. For instance, 52 fuel barrels of 66.5 gallons each or 130 men. It also had a short range with a maximum autonomy of 1000 to 1, 124 miles when fully loaded. Some Messermich 321s were converted to 323s, but most of the 323s were produced with the six engines. From the beginning, the first models were equipped with two-blade wooden propellers, which were replaced by three-blade variable-pitch metal propellers. For its defense, the latest versions were equipped with five 13mm machine guns in the wings. These were operated by extra gunners, the radio operator and the engineers. In 1942, this aircraft was deployed for use in the Tunisian campaign and entered service in the Mediterranean theater of operations. The high rate of Axis ship losses made it necessary for these large aircraft to participate across the Mediterranean to supply the Africa Corps. Commanded by General Rommel, the Messerschmitt 323 was really tough and could absorb a great amount of damage unless it was loaded with fuel barrels. But this aircraft was considered a sitting duck, being such a slow and large machine. It was believed that no transport plane could survive without air superiority, and in fact, none could. 323 survived in service beyond the summer of 1944. To give an example, on April 22, 1943, a formation of 27 Mi 323s, fully loaded, they were escorted across the Strait of Messina by several Bf 109s when they were intercepted by seven squadrons of Spitfires and Curtis P-40s, with the loss of 21 out of the 24 Messerschmitt 323s. Approximately 200 Me 321s and another 213 Me 323s had been built. When production ceased in April of 44, Unfortunately, no complete unit has survived to this day for exhibition in a museum. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'm Marcos and this is the Aeropedia from World of Aviation. Thanks.